everybody. So we're gonna take a look at the uh, Beretta 92 full size today. And uh, recently uploaded a video with a little bit of a different build that I have on here. And it's nothing crazy. It's really just the grips that add a, the polymer lower for a Picatinny rail and then a uh, Packmeyer grip that I've got over here. All right, so you can see here, I got the factory grips on my Beretta. Um, basically all factory parts except for my guide rod, which that's a story for another day, but we got the Recover BC2 Tacticals. I have had these on before, but this is how they ship in a bag, in a box. You can't ask for anything better. You really couldn't. I'm gonna swap these out and I'll show you how quick and easy it is. So this came with some tools too. Um, I had my own tools as well, and it comes with the hardware you need, which is just actually two more screws. Two little screws, you got four points of contact, the other two are on your grip already. I like to check my stuff, make sure I'm tight. We were talking about some Loctite, but it's not a permanent build. What it looks like from the, the back here. I'll put another image up of the uh, the OEM grips and you'll see, literally that's, I mean, how can you say that's much bigger? That's not adding a lot. Got my uh, pack liner here. This thing's great. You can see I use it. It's a little dusty, but that's okay. No big deal. Same thing with this. A lot of people talk about the size. I mean, come on. So I'll throw it on and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's a little bit of a beast to get on just because it's uh, meant to be tight. If you go from the back, you just kind of slip on. Now, I've seen a lot of people say that when they get these, that uh, the magazine release doesn't really work well. And I've replaced mine with the Enix, not the extended or the oversized, just the standard OEM factory. Underneath here, it never presses enough to ever rub. Even with this thing tight, I, I put that on there and there's a little bit of a gap. But never enough. Now, I'm gonna, I have a couple mags here. I like the factory mags, but I know a lot of people don't. Falls free. Empty mag, no problem. So like, that just goes to show. Loaded. Obviously not gonna have a problem. Nothing. You can always just take a Dremel tool. 
anybody can get a cheap Dremel and just touch that up a little bit. I, I had no problem with mine. This is right out of the box. Hell yeah. We're still tight. That's one magazine. Nothing super crazy, but nothing. You know what I mean? That's no Loctite. So, not bad. You know, I wouldn't, you know, fight a war with it <laughs> by any means, but a uh, little bit of fun at the range. Seems okay. Might have to get a light to throw on it to see if it'll actually hold or if it will blow Hell off yeah. within like, you know, 10 shots. So. <laughs> Swaying fucking targets might it might be a problem. I mean, it don't help, but like, <laughs> we've already ran like quite a bit through it. So like, just a, you know, a little more. Why not? Red. I was shooting to the right. It is. It's really light. Oh, especially with the like third after end. the first shot, the, the, the next couple, it like it, it really it's light. light. It's nice mm -hmm. though, but it's light. No, yeah. It's, every time we come up, we're like, ah, oh, we didn't shoot each other's pistols. We always it's say it. Than yeah. it seems. The mat. I mean. The 30, yeah, I should. The 30 makes gives it some weight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a big gun. A lot of people say it is large, and I would say it is large compared to something like this 22. Like, you just look at these, and uh, I mean, it's a big gun. I'm not gonna lie. And then we have something like this one here, the Springfield Hellcat. I mean, this thing's like it's baby, dude. Okay, so back home now. I'm gonna take a look at it after putting about 150 rounds through it. Everything still feels pretty tight. No wiggle room, nothing like that. It's kind of just my word of mouth to say I didn't tighten anything, but we did have it out before. Um, same thing, about 100 rounds through it last time, and no complaints, nothing really changed. I took it off, so I didn't run it all the time. But putting it back on, everything feels very nice. Um, I didn't use Loctite. If I was going to keep this on here, I probably would do that just because I'd feel a little better about it uh, personally. But that's something that's optional if you're going to do this.
One nice feature about this option is that you're still able to field strip the firearm with no extra hassle. As you can see, the push button on one side and the disassembly lever on the other are both still accessible while the BC2 grips are installed. Be sure to remove the magazine and check your chamber. The polymer frame does not interfere with either mechanism and you can remove your slide as you normally would. With the slide removed, we can now see the dimensions that are added from the rail. And that wraps up this video today. Let me know down below what you think. Would you trust these grips with the light attached? I'll be posting a lot more in the near future and we'll be featuring a variety of guns on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and remember to be a responsible gun owner. A blast from the past, dude. This is like the biggest upgrade we've ever had. <laughs> we've never seen anything Circa like this. Circa 1982. And uh, of course, my cat. Dingy. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Give me that bow. Give me that. That's a good dog, dude. Give me that bow.